You know, I'm hesitant to tell you that there's things in my transition that are very scary to me. And that there may be how I feel about my transition today might not be the way I feel about it tomorrow. And um, I'm hesitant to tell you when I'm scared. And sometimes it might be scared to tell you something. If all of our past conversations were recorded, which one would you most want to revisit and listen to and why? Listen to again and why? Um, geez, we talk like every day. We have so many conversations. <laughs> um, there's a lot to pick from, but the only one that's like coming to my head right now is uh, probably a conversation we had before we started dating, like officially, when you kind of, um, you didn't kind of, you like came out to me mm. about your transition and I was really caught off guard. Like I didn't expect you to come to me about that, like out of everybody else. So it was a def I feel like it was a defining moment mm. for our relationship. You know, it kind of that conversation took it to the next level because I felt like you were being vulnerable with me for the first time and we had already known each other for like 7 years. Yeah. I felt pretty safe telling you that. Yeah, it felt like the first real conversation we ever had. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's kind of crazy, but I don't think you've ever been that vulnerable with me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. What have you always wanted to tell me but never could? I tell you, like, pretty much everything. Yeah. Like, I like everything. Honestly. Honestly. Probably too much. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm on a need to know basis. Just like, Sometimes I don't need to know everything. Sometimes you can just I keep one or help. two things out. It's just, it comes out. <laughs> um, Um, recently I have been feeling very bad, like feeling a pull towards top surgery a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm like, you know, I'm a pretty indecisive person. So like, apart from these things, um, no, you're pretty decisive about the tattoos. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're quite in. a bit covered. <laughs> um, but you're committed. Uh, so like sometimes I don't like telling you things cause I feel like I'm going to bring you on like a up and down journey of like, will they, won't they? Like with career stuff, like going back to school, whatever, like I'm always just like bringing you on like a little like. I know and I'm excited and then it, and we then don't talk right. about it. Yeah. Um, so I think I wanna talk to you about that in some ways, but I also, um, I don't know. Like I don't, I haven't fully formed my right. relationship and idea to it. So I don't wanna bring you into it. Right. Okay, well good, because I, you know, I'm always here for, you know, I mean, I'm, you don't, I mean, you can just bring it up and then have me as a sounding board, because, you yeah. know, I'll, I'll tell you how I feel, Yeah. you know? Does it make a difference to you if I am your son or your daughter? No, absolutely not. You becoming trans was very difficult. Um because it's a complete change of everything. You know, your name, to me, as you, the child, becomes a different child completely at first. And it took me about a year um, t or two to get over it. Where do you think I may fail you? Why are you smirking? Because I think I, I'm not smirking. Because I think I know the answer. Where do you think I may fail you, Kat? Well, we've had recent conversations, heated conversations about things. And sometimes we're on different pages or different levels or being patient, being impatient. 
with different things, you know, like, I think we both have fear about being in limbo with different things. And, mm -hmm. and if things are gonna be the way they are and just stay that way, then I think we need to be okay with that. What do you mean about my transition? Yeah, like about your transition. And so what, where do you think, where do you think, where, I wanna hear, where do you think I'm gonna fail you? I wanna hear. I don't think you're gonna fail me. I think I, I have um, expectations according to my past relationships. Like you said that mm -hmm. recently about your past relationships when I say like old tapes or something. Just the way things played out, the way people transition, the way they do things. You know, and so I have fear that sometimes it's not going to happen or I'm going to get impatient. But even if it doesn't happen, I still want to be with you. And you should know that. You know, whatever reasons you have. I know that. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't know that. You know that failure is no option for me anyway, so. <laughs> you're a mover you know, and a shaker life, and a know, wheeler and a dealer. Life, so <laughs> failure is no option. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I could say that like, oh, I wish that had been different or mm -hmm. whatever, but I'm also happy that they're not, you know? Like, in the moment, I might have wished like that never happened. Like, for me, I wish that I was not born, like, I, was at, I wasn't born the way that I was born. Like, I wish I was born a cis girl. That's like, a good thing to know. I wish that I was just, Born. That's a good thing to know. I wish I was just born like a regular girl, but a girl. Yeah, you're a girl. I am a girl. Okay, so I just wish that I was born that way. Okay. And I just like I feel like a lot of things would be easier, but also I think my life would be boring. Like not to not to like say like oh, cis people have boring lives because that's not the truth. But I just feel like I wouldn't have. Like, I feel like if I was born cis or I wasn't transgender, that I wouldn't have the same outlook on life. I wouldn't have a lot of experiences. I feel like I might be ignorant. And that's like one of my biggest fears is like, I feel like I could be like, I just, I feel like I could be so different mm -hmm. because I wouldn't understand it, but like also, there's things about being trans that are like really hard that I wish I didn't have to go through. Like, you know, I wish mm -hmm. I didn't have to pay. I wish I didn't have to like, I wish people wouldn't ask me, have you had surgery this, have you this? And like, um, is uh, is your boyfriend gay? Or like, is what, uh, like, what kind of guys do you like? Who likes you? And like, what do you have? And like, are your boobs real? And like, is your hair real? And like, I feel like my womanhood is always questioned and I feel like if I wasn't trans that I would that none of that would happen mm -hmm. but also I am happy that I'm trans because like everything that is me is me and I know that and I feel like my journey to womanhood is like different and unique and I share it with a large beautiful community of other beautiful trans girls of color. How do you think our lives would be different if we never met? Oh my god. I mean... I mean... I knew it, I knew there'd be a question that would just trigger it. Like... I mean, I don't... I don't know how to even think about that, like, just because, like, you've been such a crucial part of my transition, you know, like, you've been so deeply a part of it, like I said, like, you know, um, you hate when I say this, but, like, one of the first things I thought of, you know, was who would want me, you know, and um, I didn't 
know how I could feel um, pretty and myself and, you know, someone to see that in me. Um, and, um, but, like, you, it was never a question to you. Like, you just, you always knew my soul. You always just knew me. You know, and I know that, like, a lot of it's also, like, you know, self-image and everything and learning to love myself, but, like, you help me love myself. You, like, you pull it out of me. You show me that I can be pretty. You make me feel pretty. You make me feel sexy. You make me feel cute. You make me feel like I can have power. And if we never met, I don't know, like, how that how I would have come to that. How has our relationship changed you? How has it changed me? Mm -hmm. I feel like cooler. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like my boyfriend is so cool. Like, oh. I feel like I can just like show you off kind of. <laughs> Should I get a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motorcycle and a leather jacket. A leather daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Maybe next year. That would be super sick. <laughs> Um, how has it changed me? I feel like it's nice to know that someone lo like loves you. I'm just, yeah, I feel like a little bit more like, um, what's the word? Like cared for, oh. the word, which makes a big difference. Cause I didn't really before I felt like, you know, I was just kind of like more like, oh, nobody likes me. Like it's because I'm trans. Nobody wants to fuck me. Nobody wants to date me. I'm just this undesirable thing. And you kind of like made me not feel that way, which now that I think about it, it was like huge. It's like really, really big. You're the first relationship that I've had since like after transitioning. Cause with my last relationship, it was like they were there before during, after, mm. and they just kind of like saw the whole thing, which is, you know, it's great for its own specific thing. Like mm -hmm. that, that was cool for what it is, but this is like a new thing for me, mm. you know? Feeling wanted is a big deal because uh, so many things in the world make trans women feel unwanted. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's like, feels good to answer this question. That was like very satisfying. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for choosing me back. <laughs> thanks for dating me back. <laughs>